Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. We're just a regular dude walking in the Word. Uh, today, we are jumping into Judges and we are continuing our journey um, as we talk about Samson in the book of Judges. And we're going to be spending quite a bit of time on uh, uh, Samson because, um, well, part a large portion of the book is dedicated to Samson, even though he wasn't uh, that godly of a man. So, uh, but there's a lot we can learn from him. Today I'm going to read um, chapter 15, the whole thing. But what I want you to see from this whole chapter 15 is this, that um, Samson is driven by revenge. That's, that's pretty much the story of Samson's life. He's just driven by revenge. Okay, we're going to be talking about in a later episode how he wasn't really using his gifts that God had given him to glorify God. Uh, he was just using it for his own personal use and for his own revenge. Um, so anyway, let's read, if you have your Bibles, which I do, um, I'm going to be reading from the New International Version, um, and it's chapter 15. It says this, Later on at that time of wheat harvest, Samson took a young goat and went to visit his wife. He said, I'm going to my wife's room. But his, her father would not let him go in. Okay, if you remember the last episodes, we had talked about how Samson had the whole wedding debacle and at the end of that wedding the father of the bride gave the bride to another guy because Samson took off in a rage um, and so this his wife is married to someone else okay but he's wanting to go in and it's like, like oh I want my wife back and the father is like uh, nope verse 2 I was so sure you hated her he said that I gave her to your companion isn't her younger sister more attractive? Take her instead. Samson t said to them, This time I have the right to get even with the Philistines. I will really harm them. Okay, so again, driven by revenge. You're going to see this all the way through here. Verse 4, So he went out and caught 300 foxes and tied them tail to tail in pairs. He then fastened a torch to, e to every pair of tails lit the torches, and let the foxes loose in the standing grain of the Philistines. He burned up the shocks and standing grain together with the vineyards and olive groves." Okay, so he, he not only burnt up the, the grain, but he's burning up the vineyards and olive groves too. Um, what, what he was, he took the two foxes, tied the torch between them, and foxes, they don't operate in teams at, ever. Okay, so they'd just be going crazy all over the fields, you know, trying to get away from each other and, and the fire that's tied to their tails. So these, the foxes are, you know, going crazy uh, all over the place, um, much like you'd say like a chicken with its head cut off, okay, just going all over. So they're doing this and uh, destroying all the crops because the crops are burning down. And it's not like in, today, if I'm hungry, I can stop at 7-Eleven and get some nachos or whatever. But in that day, everything you ate, you grew, okay? So if your crops were destroyed, you were like going hungry, okay, and, uh, and starving. So Samson is getting right to the heart of them, and he's like destroying their food, okay? Verse 6, when the Philistines asked who did this, they were told, Samson, the Timonite's son-in-law, because his wife was given to his companion. So the Philistines went up and burned her and her father to death. Let me stop there again. Um, you remember early on in, in during the wedding ceremony that they said uh, to the wife, if you don't tell, tell us the answer, we're gonna come and burn you, you and your father's house uh, to death. Well, this all happened. She uh, did what they said and got the, the um, answer to the riddle. But now they're mad at her, and so they, they go and kill her, okay? Verse 7, Samson said to them, Since you have acted like this, I swear that I won't stop until I get my revenge on you. He attacked them viciously and slaughtered many of them. Then he went down and stayed in the cave, in a cave in the rock of Etam. Okay, so it's back and forth, back and forth, uh, the revenge. The Philistines are going to do something to get him mad and then the, then Samson's going to retaliate. Verse 9, the Philistines went up and camped in Judah, spreading out near Leah. The people of Judah asked, why have you come to fight us? 
We have come to take Samson prisoner, they answered, to, to do to him as he did to us. Then three thousand men of Judah went down to the cave in the rock of Etam and said to Samson, Don't you realize that the Philistines are rulers over us? What have you done to us? He answered, I merely did to them what they did to me. They said to him, We have come to tie you up and hand you over to the Philistines. Samson said, Swear to me that you won't kill me yourselves. Agreed, they answered. We will only tie you up and hand you over to them. We will not kill you. So they bound him with two new ropes and led him into the, up to the rock. As he approached Leah, the Philistines came toward him shouting. The Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon him, and the ropes of his arms became like charred flax, and the bindings dropped from his hands. Finding a fresh jawbone of a donkey, he grabbed it and struck down a thousand men. Okay? He did this with just a, a jawbone, okay, which would be about, I don't know, that size. And, uh, you know, killed them all with that. Then Samson said, with a donkey's jawbone, I have made donkeys of them. With a donkey's jawbone, I have killed a thousand men. When he finished speaking, he threw away the jawbone, and the place was called Ramath Lehi. Because he was very thirsty, he cried out to the Lord, You have given me, you have given your servant this great victory. Must I now die of thirst and fall into the hands of the uncircumcised? Then God opened up the hollow place in Leah, and the water came out of it. When Samson drank, his strength returned, and he revived. So the spring was called en Hakar, and it is still there in Leah. Samson led Israel for 20 years in the days of the Philistines. Again, looking at this whole chapter, um, it's all based on revenge. You know, it, it goes back and forth. Revenge, you know, you did this to me, I'm going to do this to you. And, and back and forth. That's all that happens in Samson's life. And he's so um, acting in an, an ungodly way. Even when God gives him the victory over those uh, Philistines, he cries out to God like, uh, you, you know, he's not satisfied with just the victory. He's like, am I going to die because I'm dying of thirst? And um, God provides uh, the water even for him there. But not not showing appreciation to God, that's for sure. And um, if you look closely, again, the life of Samson, it's all about me. You know, everything revolves around him. Okay, so... Um, just remember that today it, if your life revolves around you you're gonna be driven by revenge and that's what this whole thing the revenge will never end okay only God's forgiveness will will put that to an end um, but revenge will just keep on going on you know it, it never ends so um, anyway that's it for today thanks for watching I'm just a regular dude walking in the word and I'll see you tomorrow as we dissect a little bit more of uh, chapter 15 We'll see you then. Lord's blessing to you.